Welcome back, this is the Clay Golem. This is Foundry VTT version 12, and we are in my test world. We are going to be playing with another module today. Um, perhaps not a surprise, it's gonna be another Ripper one. Um, so, a couple of comments before we get stuck into that. First of all, when we're talking about Ripper's modules, just in case you're not aware, da -da -da, if you go to theripper93.com, you can see all of the modules available um, that are produced by Ripper uh, and it will tell you straight away whether they are premium ones or the free ones. So you can see that straight away. So any of the ones that I cover, if you're like, oh, I'm, I'm interested, you can immediately see that. I do try to tell you if it's premium and the one we're looking at today is premium. Um, we're going to be looking at epic roles in this video. So yes, premium one. Now I am a premium member. Um, I'm using Media Optimizer and, and various things like that. And um, these videos in no way sponsored at all uh, by Ripper or anybody else. Um, but I do think that if you are looking to uh, become a Patreon member and actually spend a few pennies, Ripper is probably your first port of call because there's so many not critical, but very useful tools in the premium one. So we're going to be looking at epic roles in this video. Um, now, just before I do so, uh, before I do that, I just want to give a shout out. Thank you to um, these channel members that are really making a difference, really helping motivate um, me to continue producing content, pushing forward. It sends re all your likes, all your comments, the people who have um, chosen to take memberships and things. It makes a huge difference. It shows me that what we're doing here is useful. You're enjoying it, or at least if you're not enjoying it, you're finding it useful. <laughs> Either way, everyone's a winner. Um, special shout out to Michael Stout um, for taking one of those higher level uh, memberships. Has become a follower of Dritz de Worden. Um, very much appreciate that. Thank you ever so much, Michael. It does make a huge, huge difference. Uh, right. Um, if you're interested in membership, there is a link in the uh, description of this video. But also, I totally understand. You know, I've just said about supporting Ripper and going premium. You know, if you've got only got a few pennies and you only want to stick it somewhere, I'd much rather you supported your games and your players with the appropriate um, memberships, patrons, etc., that you need to support your games. Um, but anything that's left over, if you do choose to send it my way, if you want to buy me a coffee or a cup of tea, there's a link for that in the comments as well. Thank you very much. I'll shut up. Let's crack on. Right, so we are looking at epic roles. So if I go to my manage modules here, I, that's all I have installed. So I use my test world. So we're not getting muddled up with, hang on a minute, which mod is doing what? So we've just got epic roles in here. What does it do? Well, actually, it's really, it's really effective. But like a lot of Ripper's ones, I'm not having an affair with Ripper, by the way, in case you're wondering. <laughs> I might be a little, might have a little bit of a crush on him, but <laughs> um, if you look in the bottom right hand corner, really, really simple. We now have this extra icon here. I'm just hovering over it. It has. A, a little icon we can click on that and it brings up this very nice tidy interface that allows us to uh, to request a particular role so let's say that we want Soriman to make this role we can pick the skill check we want Soriman to make or saving throw or ability or tool check or a custom formula, we can pick any of these. Uh, let's say we want him to make an athletics check, we can click on this. And you can see here we can put in, if we want to, a, uh, a DC. Uh, we can choose to show that or not show that as part of the role. Um, use average, so if we get the whole group to do a role, we might want to take the average, uh, I don't know, average charisma check. Because the whole party are trying to bluff their way into some event, yeah, and it's going to you want to do the average of that. You can do it, brilliant. Allow re rolls if you want to. Um, show the outro text, you'll see what that means whether it's a blind roll, whether you want to hide names, uh, etc. So, I'm going to show DC just for this purposes. Um, and as you can see at the bottom here, I can either start epic roll or or I can save to macro. So once I've created my role in this, 
I can save it to a macro and then use it somewhere else uh, amongst active tile trigger or whatever it might I might want to do. So let's click start epic roll. Look at that. So it comes up, it says, because I said show the DC, it said this is the DC for the athletics role, and then it's given the player the opportunity to come in and click to make that role. So it's effectively halts the game. It's like, hang on a minute, this is a big deal. So this is not designed, obviously, to be used all the time for every every combat or things. It's like, you know, like, well, hang on a minute, everybody focus. There's something going on here. It's an epic role, which is why it's called that, of course. Um, and you can see we've got disadvantage and advantage buttons, or we can just click in the middle and it makes that roll. And then it tells us whether that succeeded because we put a DC in, of course. And then it adds it to the chat as normal athletics roll. And then we've got the epic roll card as well. Nice and easy. Lovely, isn't it? So remember, just opening this again, um, I don't have to show that DC. Um, I can keep that hidden so I can say, actually, I want Haley and Ronbar and Sorryman to all make a dexterity saving throw. Okay, we're going to choose dexterity and it's going to be a DC of 12. Uh, I'm not going to show them what the DC is. Okay, so maybe, maybe you know, this is a there's a rock fall and they're all in the area. So I need to see if they're all going to dodge, but I'm not going to tell them what the DC is. Um, so I can do all of that and click my epic roll. And here we go, they've all now got the opportunity to make that roll. So they can, you know, maybe we have disadvantage on this one for whatever reason. There we go. Um, or we have advantage for Haley. We could just flag those and then roll that. Now, it's saying success because somebody succeeded, but obviously Ron Barr didn't there. So that might be an instance where you don't want that result banner up. But again, as we saw, you can um, da, 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 show outro. You can turn that outro off. Um, we can allow re-rolls. Again, we can use average. We can choose to show or not show the DC, etc. So, I mean, essentially, that's it. That's it in a nutshell. Um, so it's quite a... I, I hate saying this. It's quite a simple module. Um, and I'm not... I'm not trying to say that it's simple on the back end, but from an interface, for what it does, it's easy for us as players and as DMs. It's easy for us to use and to be able to implement and do what we want with, which is which is absolutely brilliant. So there's lots of different options. Now, one thing it doesn't do, of course, and I'm going to add on just to, because it does take it up a notch, is if we add dice so nice on there, we get the dice rolls as well, of course. So we'll add that on. I've just accidentally added dynamic uh, DAE on as well. I don't need that. <laughs> Try again. That's such an idiot. <laughs> so let's clear that chat then. And then we go back to epic roles. Now nothing here is going to change, of course. Um, I now want the, the uh, these two zombies. Uh, they need to make some kind of check um, because of a spell, whatever it might be. Maybe they need to make a... Um, Maybe they need to make a dexterity check. Let's pick that. Um, or we could pick something else. Let's, let's, yeah, let's, rather than a dexterity saving throw, they need to make a dexterity ability check, let's say. So I can put in what the DC is for that. Um, and I can choose whether to show or not that DC. Um, I, whether I use the average, uh, whether I allow re rolls. Uh, do I want that intro text? Blind rolls. I can hide names and all of that kind of stuff if I want to. And then of course I can do that DC 10 dexterity check. And here are the zombies. Now, because we've got dice so nice on, we get our dice rolls to go with it. And what I really like about this module <laughs> is with dice so nice on, it waits for the dice roll to finish before it updates what they actually rolled. So it might be something to conclude the epic roll. So I've got my results, but we haven't got the end banner because I switched that off. Yeah. So I'll come back to my point in a moment with the with the outro that we can turn on and off. I turned that off so we didn't get it. Um, normally with Dice So Nice, uh, and it's not a, it's not a criticism. Dice So Nice. It's a it's the way Foundry works. 
Um, once you do a dice roll, yes, you get your dice rolling across, but the result of your dice roll already appears in the chat. And with the epic rolls, you can't see that result of that dice roll. And what I, one of the little details I really like in epic rolls is it doesn't tell you what the result is until that dice has finished rolling. It gives you that little um, that little pause. It does ramp up that <gasps> I've got to wait for that dice to stop rolling, um, which is really nice. I really really like that. It does help add to the drama. And again, because I'm already a um, a patron of Ripper, I already have access to his premium content. This is one I'm more than likely to have added on. How often I will use it? I'm going to save it for those epic roll moments. Not every time they need to do a deck save or anything like that. But if it's a, a sliding doors moment, a make or break, um, it might be, you know, like a uh, constitution save or you die. That's an epic roll. Um, you know, oh, you're trying to do something really crazy, you know, suspended really high in the air. And it's like, yeah, and you want to walk across this rope. That's an epic maneuver you're doing that requires an epic roll because it's kind of do or die that card from cold it's the board game for those of you old enough to remember that but it's a do or die kind of situation so yeah it, it's it's just nice isn't it um you might not decide that this is enough to to take um you know to to join patreon for this but when you combine it with the others i think it's lovely so let's see what um what epic role sets we have here recap message for gm you can say that's public game master um, or none the lovely cleanup messages so delete the role messages after the epic role completes if you want to and you can hear those sounds so that intro sound of let's do it that you can change it success sound the drums you can change it and the failure sound wah, wah, wah. if you want to change it you can do that i don't know what that was <laughs> Sad clown. <laughs> um, you can change them if you want to, which is really good. So you can theme it. You know, so for Curse of Strahd, I might want to, I don't know, what would be really good for a failure sound? You know, um, the voice of Strahd laughing in the background. I mean, how atmospheric would that be? Ah, oh, I've just taught myself into doing that now, haven't I? <laughs> <laughs> but do you know what I mean? You know, how good is that? You know, you can you can do those things. Um, and it might be there's another major NPC that for the success sounds, you want them to be saying like, yes, or, or something, whatever, whatever's going to suit your game. Um, yeah, uh, it's, it's nice. It's tidy. It's as all of Ripper stuff. It just bloody works. <laughs> <laughs> can't argue with it um right so one other thing of course is uh, what we haven't looked at is let's set up a let's set up a dice roll um sorry man um arcana check dc 18 yeah good luck mate um we can do all of that and of course we can click save to macro so it says created epic roll macro dc 18 Kana check. So if we open this up amongst all of the other things that I've created um do, 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 do. there we go right in the middle there and i can click that and it's created this macro for us so as i mentioned i know the writing's really small um you can go so let me pull this up again so from ripper's web page you can go to his wiki um where of course he talks about how it works um but has got all of the api stuff so all of these bits that take you into macro scripting and stuff that for a lot of us is a bit like Ugh, don't really know but this is creating that macro for us which means we can then insert this other places so in theory you could choose to say i want an epic role when they set off this pit trap so rather than going, oh, pause the game, you set off the pit trap, right, I'll go over there and do epic roll, we can set this, probably not an arcana roll, <laughs> but you could take this macro, use active monks, monks active tile triggers of, they've stepped on this, and it runs this macro and instantly forces an epic roll. You can do that. How nice. So that integration could be really beautiful. Again, I would strongly recommend you don't overuse it. Save it, or otherwise it becomes the norm rather than becoming epic. But yeah, it's here. So I can execute this macro right now. And of course you can see that. I've got it behind everything. But you can see that happening behind us there. 
in the background and of course it is doing it for Soriman and he can make his rolls and everything else. So it's going to save all those settings and bits which is nice. So if it's one that you're going to use more than once, maybe maybe you choose to use epic rolls every time there's a death save and there was one of those one of those options was on there where was death save. Um I'm sure I'm sure I saw death save on here somewhere saving throw. Yeah, of course I did. There we are. So there is death save on here as well. You might choose to say that every death save is an epic roll because that's quite a major event when it happens. So you could do that and you could decide to how you want to set that up, create a macro for it, etc. How nice. Right, I think that is pretty much everything. If it's not, I'm sure Ripper will tell me. <laughs> I've missed something critical. It's like, did you know you can do this? Uh, it's happened a few times. <laughs> um, but that's the core stuff. Really good. Go and have a play with it. Obviously, yeah, again, just to remind you, it is a premium one. Um, and once again, thank you to those members um, of the channel. Really does help. I will see you in the next one. Oh, last little thing before I go. There is a strong rumour that Gambit's pre-mades will be coming out in its first initial version 12 release very, 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 very soon. So uh, don't worry, I will tell you. Take care, guys. See you in the next one.